Hello, I'm Kevin Church, and this month for April 2021, we have Charles Cannon as our music songwriter of the month. How you doing, Charles? How you doing, good, Kevin? Good to see you. Great. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. We're just going to ask you a couple of questions and uh, just get to know you a little bit so our audience can get to know you and your songs. How about, um, we always ask, did you come from a musical family? Uh, yes, my mother was very musically. I grew up in the church. Uh, Mom was always in the choir or playing piano or organ or maybe she was a choir director. My dad was an ordained Pentecostal preacher uh, early on, although we didn't preach the whole time I was growing up. Uh, so, yeah, I was in music the uh, the whole time. And, uh, yeah. So you got a taste very early. Yes, yes. That's awesome. So that pretty much, that's where it all started. Right. Then. So how about, did you, what instrument did you start uh, on if, if you grew up in that? Uh, the first instrument I can remember actually ever playing, and I think I was five, was sitting down on a drum set. Nice. Uh, there was a guy named Ray, and uh, he let me sit down, and uh, I couldn't reach the kick drum. I was just on the hi-hat, the snare. Right. Um, from there, uh, when I turned 10, I got my first guitar for Christmas, and uh, Within two weeks, uh, a cousin had come over, jumped off the bed, and broke it. Uh, so, oh no! I had uh, my older brother, uh, who had he had a guitar. Uh, he gave it to me because he never played it. So he gave it to me, and from there, I've uh, I had a uh, got my first book, you know, with guitar chords, and learned Jimmy Crack Corn was the first song I learned in ten. Nice, and maybe, maybe some other songs along the way. So. Kind of blossomed from there. Gotcha. Were you picking the chords, or were you picking in the chord the melody, or no, no, I was just no, drumming. Just drumming. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. So a ten, ten ish. Ten. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Okay, so then, and as you're moving forward from ten into your musical journey, what what happened after that? Got you more. You know uh, uh, into uh, it. From there, you know, I was still in the church. We didn't, we weren't allowed to listen to secular music. So right. if I'd get hints of anything like that, you know, it was at a friend's house. Uh, probably coming around uh, when I was 16, 17 in high school, I decided I want to try and learn classical guitar. Oh, wow. So I yeah. bought a classical guitar book and uh, tried to, you know, do that. Well, I brought it to uh, to school one day and a guy that was sitting behind me saw it under my under my desk. He was like, hey, uh, you play guitar? And I said, well, you know, yeah, I guess. So he's like, well, we got a little band. Do you want to come play with us? And uh, I had a little electric guitar, and uh, sure enough, went over there, little, you know, garage band. We were all teenagers. And uh, started playing rock and roll music, of nice. course. And uh, from there, it... Uh, yeah, it took off from there. I, you know, musical journey early on. I got into hard rock, uh, you know, and I went through a few bands. Uh, you know, yeah, hard rock music. Uh, somewhere along the way, I was turned on to Doc Watson, who changed my life. And then I went to Bela Fleck, discovered Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones, and on the banjo, I was like, wow, that is incredible. So then moving over into bluegrass and, and you know, uh, I don't know if it's called organic music, what the right term is, but uh, started getting into that. And uh, one day uh, I was at a restaurant in Valley Cruces, North Carolina. Okay. And uh, I know where you're talking about. Yeah, the uh, mass, uh, Mass Farm Inn. And I heard they had music piped in, and it was a uh, finger style guitar, but it was just a guitar. It's like that—that that is the most beautiful uh, guitar playing I've ever heard. Mm. So I went up to the front desk, and uh, I said, "Who were y'all playing?" And they said, "Well, it's Leo Kaki." Oh wow! Okay, and that was yeah. my first introduction to Leo Kaki, and they said we actually sell the CDs. Mm -hmm. So I bought my first Leo Kaki uh, CD. And uh, at, at the same time, I've got a banjo, and I'm trying to learn to finger pick because of Bela Fleck. And, sure. And uh, 
I'd always loved the sound of the 12 string, but I'd never heard it in that capacity. So I sat down in my basement in my house. I'd get up at two o'clock in the morning. I'd go down and play working on my finger, my right hand, just rolls, rolls, rolls. And it took a long time, but that started, that started my real venture where I wanted to be. That's great. You know, where I hope I am now, but blossoming even farther, you know, because it's so fun. And, you know, as a musician, it, uh, it's a lifelong venture. It is. The, more, the longer you go, the more you want to play, the better you want to get. So, yeah. I, I agree with you, man. I, even like I touch the uh, instrument all the time, I, go, I, I did not know that before. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know, just something pops out all the time. It's really cool. So, Leo Kaki changed your life. Yeah, that was the defining moment of where I knew I wanted to be. And then Doc Watson was the predecessor. I mean, like, or the one before it. Like, yeah, she, yeah, she I was... Uh, That's what I meant. You know, I remember where, you know, where certain musicians or what you hear actually make an impact. And I can remember these moments. And Doc Watson, it was... Uh, me and a buddy were going camping up in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is back when we lived in Columbia, this was years ago. And he puts in Doc Watson, I had no clue. And I was like, well, who's this, you know? Right. He, and I think it was memories. Uh, uh, and uh, he handed it to me, I was, I like this, you know? And he's like, well, he's blind. I was like, what? Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, we uh, listened to that. And from then I just started exploring what else is out there. Oh, oh absolutely. You know, besides yeah. just wanting to play hard rock music. Right, your antenna was up. So it's, it's going from electric guitar, distorted guitar, whatever, over to just pure natural instruments, acoustics, uh, and what you can do with them. That's really cool. So um, then you got into songwriting. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'd always kind of been into songwriting. Uh, well, with the band and everything. Yeah, like the too, right? a lot of the bands I was in early on, talking, you know, in my 20s or whatnot, I was a, one of the songwriters in the band. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, uh, did a lot of songwriting, a lot of stuff uh, nobody's ever heard before, you know, personal stuff. Uh, I got to a point, though, that where... Writing lyrics wasn't necessarily, I'd say, my strong point. Uh, really, with the Leo Kaki and then turning on to Michael Hedges and instrumental right. uh, guitar music, I just wanted to be one person, one guitar. Let's see what we can do with this. So I got into, uh, I just love writing instrumental stuff, but it's still every once in a while that idea pops in my head, mm -hmm. you know, that first line of a song, or maybe a melody or a chorus, and uh, you just go down and you sit down and you finish it. You know, and maybe sometimes it happens quickly. Maybe sometimes it takes a few weeks to get that that one line phrasing or whatnot. So, uh, right, I still do. You know, some uh, songwriting uh, with the lyrics involved. But for the most part, nowadays I'm just writing instrumental stuff that's based on emotion and and. Uh, Anybody that listens to it can interpret it how they feel about it. There is no, I, I don't even like naming instrumental songs because that puts a stamp on it of what that song is. But to me, music's an, it, it's an emotion, it's what you feel. Uh, so for me, on the 12 string, it's such a full instrument, especially finger picking. Mm -hmm. You know, it, uh, uh, it makes me feel good. And if somebody else feels good at the same time, and that's, that's, you know, it's just icing on the cake for me. And uh, I love what you just said. So what's going to make us feel good today? What are you doing for us? Uh, I got a song. Yeah, one I actually wrote lyrics to called Music is the Drug. And it's, uh, it's probably been a couple years ago. I wrote it and uh, I was just sitting down. You know, you sit down every day. Every day you sit down and you're just doing maybe exercises or all of a sudden that melody comes. And uh, the first line I said, don't need no alcohol, was the first line to get, and I was playing with the slide. I was trying to get that groovy feel on the slide with something, let's take it from here. And uh, all of a sudden, don't need no alcohol came to my head. 
I was thinking, you know, a lot of people drink, you know, people drink to excess mm-hmm. uh, and do other things to excess. So from there, it went, don't need no alcohol, don't need no pot, don't need no cocaine coming in hot. You know, don't need no pills, take my pain away. All I need is music each and every day. And from there, I just, you know, that's one of the second verse I did have to work on. I was like, what do I want to say in the second verse? But regardless, yeah, that that's how that song came about. It's just like something that just pops in your head, you know, and I didn't really have to work for it. So well, That's cool. Yeah. And, uh, looking forward to hearing it. I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing, and I really love playing. Well, we know and we want to. I want to hear it. Excellent. Good to have you on. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. Charles Cannon, everybody. They're going from either the A to, well, whatever. It's not the A. Yeah. Ready to go? Don't need no alcohol, don't need no pot, don't need no cocaine, coming in hot. Don't need no pills, take my pain away, all I need is music, each and every day. Yeah, music is the only drug I need, music is the only drug I need. Finally opened up my eyes to see Music is the only drug I need A, B, C, D, E, F, G That's the alphabet to me G, F, E, D, C, B, A Music is the only way Feel it in my veins Deep down in my soul When I hear that music That rock and roll Yeah, cause music is the only drug I need Music is the only drug I need Finally opened up my eyes to see Music is the only drug I need Drink that alcohol, I smoke that pot, add a little cocaine, and I came in hot. I've taken pills, take my pain away, but I'm here to tell you, music is the way, yeah, music is the only drug I need, music is the only drug I need.
Music sets you free.